Whoops. I started it. You started it? Yeah. Should we talk before? What's up? Should we just do it? Should we just go for it? Lord, help us. Speak to us. Speak through us. Fill <sighs> us with your peace, your joy, your patience. We give it all to you. In Jesus' name. Mm, stop panting. Yeah, you're gonna have We're to stop all panting. Breathing. Stop breathing, handsome. <laughs> oh, okay, oh no, 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 no. It's okay. Sit. Okay, you can breathe. It's Down. Fine. You can stay alive. Down. Okay, stay. Hey, you can chew on this. That's okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Down. Why every time? Go lay down. It's like, oh, you guys got out of bed. Good for you. I'm happy. I'm excited. Hmm. Lay down. Okay. Maybe if we ignore him. How do you ignore this? I know. He's just breathing right in your face. So right in my face. <laughs> you can see his little tongue. Okay. Ignore him for a second. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If this is your first time joining us, my name is Kyle. And I'm Cayenne. And we are stoked to do this video with you guys where we will be explaining our biggest breakthrough yet as a married couple. Yeah. And uh, really giving some context, you know, kind of a deeper understanding of what we've been going through and how we've been overcoming that and tackling it. And all that good stuff. Oh, good. So, good, good. Yeah, baby, why don't you uh, start off by just explaining kind of what we were going through and like your biggest struggle with it and everything like that? Okay, I see you. Yeah, you <laughs> like that as a question? Yeah. It's kind of a question. It's kind of like an insisting yeah. comment. We tried to film this yesterday and it was just. I think we tried to film it multiple days. It was rough. Yeah. Apples. But Should we explain to... that? Well, you could insert a little footage of us struggling right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? You just keep you're hitting. You're just, yeah. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, yeah, we're excited to share it with you guys because yeah, let's uh, stop talking about it and just start talking about it. You know? <laughs> Literally, we were talking about a breakthrough for like five minutes. It's actually only been three minutes and a half. It's been three minutes of us talking about nonsense. Should <laughs> we just start over again? What do you mean? I don't know. What are we even talking about? I don't know. What are we talking about? All right, guys, we want to share. <laughs> this is definitely so not stupid. One. What's stupid about we it? We are. <laughs> I'm like so annoyed with us. Why? <laughs> because we're not talking about diddly squat. We're five minutes in. There's like nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> we had a day where we had a really good conversation. It was a day. <laughs> Frick this, I'm over, I'm done. Let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, so now what is that we get into the video? The video no, we you, have, you the have video. to tell me you're gonna edit this because now I'm just okay, now I'm I'm putting pressure on myself to get to the point. Yeah, no need because, to do that. I'm editing it, I'm editing Because it. you're saying it's unedited. I'm editing, yeah. You promise? Yeah. I don't know, this is just fake. What do you mean? It's just like, it's like fake. What do you mean it's fake? It's real, we're doing it. <laughs> it's like a, uh, not natural. It's unnatural, you know? Okay, what do you need for it to be natural? I don't know, we can just take the beginning of the last video. But we can just take part of that, and then this will just be us going in. Okay, that's just harder for me. I like to just okay. flow with it. Okay, let's flow with it. Yeah. Let's flow with it. You good? You with me? Kiss. <laughs> why right. do you have to disclaim it? So they know why I'm so awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we just not do it? Do what? No, do let's go. Let's go. I'm just telling them that I'm rusty and awkward. Okay. Because you want to just wait until we're not? No, let's, let's just go. What? Well. Did you not like that I said that? I don't know. I mean, if, we're, if you're feeling that way, we can not do it right now. We've got to just push through. We have to get it done. No, that's the wrong mindset. Hey, drop it. I feel like none of, neither of us really know what we're talking about and it's hard because... Alright, today we're going to be talking about our biggest breakthrough in marriage yet. So yeah, to kind of... We wanted to talk about the marriage conference, but I feel like we had a really big breakthrough in our marriage a few days before. Mm. Or like the week leading up to the marriage conference. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, I feel like we can't really talk about the marriage conference without... First. In a whole video. Yeah. Because yeah. there's... It, it wasn't necessarily a con like a conference i guess it was a yeah. retreat so it was like you went there and you basically just asked your spouse and yourself a bunch of questions so it wasn't like we had a bunch of bullet point notes to like relay to you guys yeah so we just wanted to share about our experience yeah having the breakthrough and then um building upon it yeah on the retreat absolutely so like you're asking some... what do you think your biggest struggle has been so far in marriage okay i feel like the biggest struggle like 
what has caused the most tension that's a good way of putting in it. our marriage what has caused the most tension in our marriage from your perspective from my perspective like from what i feel like not being on the same team mm. and i think not kind of really stepping into the roles that god ordained like the husband and wife to have sure yeah. so i think i know my first even engagement to the first i don't know year of marriage it was really hard for me to respect your opinion <laughs> to respect you mm. to trust you with things mm. um i was a bit controlling mm. and i think overall that kind of really impacted you and your confidence to lead and in, in other areas as well yeah and therefore like just our whole marriage dynamic was a bit off all balance over the place because yeah. i wasn't in my role as a wife and so i was like compensating for things that i don't need to be because i'm supposed to allow you to lead you know and so yeah. i was like trying to be over controlling and overbearing and like very particular about things yeah so Dang. that's good that's powerful mm -hmm. i'm proud of you for i mean we've only been married a year and a half and you're yeah. already receiving that and seeing that and being like oh my gosh and like changing things and mm -hmm. that's powerful yeah. yeah it's really good i thought doing that would somehow be better for us because i think i was prideful in thinking i knew the best way for everything yeah plus there's a lot of things in your past and this I don't want to get ahead of ourselves mm -hmm. here, but yeah. there's a lot more that kind of goes into that and where that came from, right? Mm -hmm. So, Which we will talk about. yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But we didn't realize that. We until, did not realize that. Which caused us to take frustrations out on each other. So, right. let's just role play here for a little bit. Let's say in the beginning, let's go back to the beginning of our marriage, and um, I did something to disrespect you or mm. make you feel like I didn't trust you or value your opinion. Mm, yeah. How would you feel about that? Yeah. And this was my a very big struggle for me because, and we're going to where this comes from, but I would get very angry and defensive. Well, really, no. The, the process would be this. I would get defensive and then my defensiveness would build frustration and then the frustration would continue to build into anger and then the anger would build into bitterness and then the bitterness would turn into resentment and then i would just totally shut down mm -hmm. and i'm just like fudge this i'm done i can't handle this i don't want to talk about it i'm just like i don't know what to say how to feel how to act and i just totally was shut down mm. hold on i'm gonna replace the battery I'm dying Let's Let's you can have it in a little Down. bit, but stay. I'm sorry. Good boy, stay. I have a dog for a head. <laughs> and so it's replaced you. And so what's our biggest conflict in our relationship? Probably that you are a whiny boy, and all you do is whine, whine, whine to get what you want. Come on, go lay down. Go lay down. Here, why don't you go to some closet? Hands up, go. What are you going to do? Go outside. Go outside? How did that translate into your ongoing... I said with me, it was being controlling, not respecting you or trusting you. And so what is yours was, how did it affect you? Yeah, so it made me feel not respected, not valued, um, not trusted. <laughs> <laughs> the polar, the opposites of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It made me, um, yeah, just struggle a lot in uh, my role as a leader, as, um, you know, a husband, a man of God, somebody who was very confident in his relationship with God and very confident in his, um, let's say leadership, you know, capabilities, but started to lose that. And it started to, uh, make me feel less confident more and more and more and more until eventually it was like, I had like no confidence left. Yeah. Which goes to show you like how powerful your role as a wife can be. Like you can literally destroy your husband's confidence if you are not treating him with respect which is what i did which is sad it's okay i still love you i know but this leads to our breakthrough yes okay because as rough as that was it's so powerful reflecting on that and 
um, just receiving revelation from God on it and being able to come together and move forward in a way of understanding why she acted that way and why I acted that way, um, which just brought us together even closer, right? And mm -hmm. helped us to actually be a team moving forward with this newfound understanding. Yeah. So, so do you want to share that? Yeah, I think the important thing to realize is a lot of things in any relationship, a lot of times is just pain that's always been there and your spouse is the one who triggers that pain. Yeah. So it's really easy to just take it out on your spouse and think it's their fault. But really, something inside of you is already hurt and the way they're um, reacting to something is... or talking to you in a certain way is just triggering something that's you know most likely there already right that um is from your past or from previous relationships or from your childhood and so i actually had listened to a podcast by sammy and spencer um, robbins mm. awesome i will have people. it linked in the description of the episode but it's it was called i think like how hard are your first three marriages the first three years of marriage and in it they actually really dove deep into um kind of like the childhood trauma that is brought up mm. in marriage and so after yeah. listening to that podcast kyle and i just had like just this ongoing tension and it just felt like there was a lot of stuff from the past that we couldn't get over in our marriage like oh, yeah. there was like mm -hmm. still like you said resentment mm -hmm. that we just could not move forward from like we could like, it, I felt like you couldn't see me in a new light, like somebody on your team yeah. because of all the ways that I had hurt you in the right. past. And mm -hmm. so I kind of told him about the podcast and explained to him something that I realized was a lot of the reasons why I had uh, trouble, like, respecting you or trusting you with certain things or allowing you to make decisions was because of my past relationships. Like, the first guy or the second guy I dated, I probably like idolized him in a way where even though he did so many bad things to me, it was like I still loved him through it. So I guess in my little high school traumatic head, I proclaimed that as I shouldn't like, um, what's it called? I shouldn't idolize or not even idolize. I shouldn't like honor a man like that ever again right. because it led me to be cheated on and hurt mm. and taken advantage of and i ended up being in a relationship where the guy was just like not treating me the way i deserved so it just led to a lot of heartbreak yeah so that was like one example and then the relationship before kyle um it was like the opposite roles i took on more of like the masculine role um of the relationship and was kind of like more bossy and was in charge of making all the decisions and it it was like exhausting but i also felt like i couldn't trust him um or his intentions and so yeah both of those dynamics as i'm sure so many other things in my life mm -hmm. are just pain and like yeah guy issues <laughs> you know that i experience that then i'm gonna take out on my husband yeah it's like you won't well, it's like through those experiences you, your your mind like wanted to protect itself mm -hmm. right and it caused um these ways these thoughts right these ideas to become your way of life you know not that they were good um but in um like like let's say how in, in that last relationship, right, you protected yourself by being more controlling because in the last one, you were too much on the other end mm -hmm. of things and just being basically controlled, you know? So it's like trying to find that balance, it seems like, um, but it's very easy for us to go too far into one direction and not have that balance and kind of get lost in that Yeah. Um, with good intentions, but... Mm -hmm. yeah and then it's easy to look at anything that your husband does that reminds you of those things and like him doing something could trigger that and then it's not only the pain in our conversation but it's the pain from a million other ones from my past so we had a conversation where i said like listen it's not that i don't trust you it's that i have a lot of men in my life that i couldn't trust because they betrayed that trust and 
you are just experiencing. And you happen to be the man in my life now, <laughs> yeah. and I still can't trust men. <laughs> <laughs> and for you guys, men out there, if this is something that is, you know, speaking to you or, um, you know, seems familiar in your relationship, like, as hard as it is, because it took me a while to, like, finally get to the point of being like, you know what? I, I actually trust you when you say that now. Instead of taking it personally and being like, no, you don't trust me. Because of this, 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 and this, without understanding her past and bringing that into the picture and being like, okay, yeah, it seems like you don't trust me in this, this, and this because of this. Mm -hmm. So it's important that if our spouse, and this goes both ways, if our spouse or partner shares that with us, hey, this happened in my past, this makes me do this, and it's not that I see you like that or I, I want to, or I don't trust you or whatever, but because of this, it's hard for me to do that. It's not you, it's actually this. And we have to believe in our partner and we have to trust them in that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to move forward because she shared this with me before yeah. and I did not receive it. Mm -hmm. And then it would happen again. I'd be like, why don't you trust me? Why don't you believe in me? Why don't you understand what I'm saying? And she, it, it wasn't me, but it's so easy to take that personally because it's not like in that moment when things come up, she's like, oh, because of my past and because of this, I'm now seeing this. Like in the moment with the emotion it just doesn't always happen that way right yeah you know usually it's after we re we you reflect to, on it and yeah. ask but, the holy spirit to reveal why does this bother me so much right but yeah it's important to once we do share this with one another to kind of take responsibility in that being like okay my partner is not always gonna disclose this but they told me this and now when this comes up this is why yeah. and i need to believe this is why not they're coming at me because yeah. of I me, feel like believing you know? the best in your partner is so important right. and giving them the benefit of the doubt. Because I felt like, yes, I made a lot of mistakes and hurt you a lot. But then I was trying to overcome them um, and tell you, like, I'm changing and I have changed and I'm making an effort. But I feel like you still saw the, the worst in me. I like, did. you still saw me for all those mistakes that right. I made. Which brings me to my past. <laughs> So, yes. uh, for me, the reason why I struggle so hard with this is because for one thing, I feel like I've been, um, devalued or just not valued a lot of times in my life. Um, specifically with close relationships. Um, I feel like I've been taken advantage of, or, you know, just not treated very well you know and i i try to always give it my all but it always seems like it comes back on me of me and i'm the reason i'm the failure essentially and i'm the the you know issue essentially so my confidence was very low before i came to the lord and i went through years of depression if you know my testimony i've been through years of suicidal thoughts and tendencies like I went through all that, so my my self-esteem and my confidence was like at an all-time low. Then I met the Lord, and my confidence became in the Lord, and He became my strength, and He renewed me and transformed me and helped me to see who I was in His eyes and all that good stuff. So my confidence went like through the roof, you know, because now it's in the Lord. It's not in me, and yeah. If you know Jesus, you understand what I'm saying. So anyways, I had two years doing that with the Lord before I met her. And I was just, no relationships, nothing like that. And it was just me and the Lord and boom, we were smooth sailing. Um, but then when we got together, I got tested, you know, essentially. And I slowly but surely, as I was losing my confidence in my relationship with God and um, feeling devalued, it literally put me in a downward spiral where I got lost in it and I I never got back to that place of my confidence in the Lord it became my confidence in me and she's not confident in me and now I'm failure again and I'm not valued and I'm no good and all these lies start flooding in and it put me in this place of like just being lost essentially and it was hard to see you as my team you know as my partner and mm -hmm. it was like I started um connecting these feelings with my wife from not because like yes what she was saying and doing at certain times made me feel that way but it wasn't really her that was make it was my past hurts and pains and experiences they were triggers and she was just poking the triggers not intentionally right but poking those point um soft points and i 
didn't understand my own triggers enough to be able to control myself in those moments um, and to not get so angry and frustrated and bitter and let that resentment build up and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So for me, just like a lot of stuff in my past that caused me to feel that way, um, just like with hers, and we were basically fighting each other with past feelings, past hurts, past emotions, mm -hmm. you know? And when we got back to a place of like, um, you know, back in the present and seeing each other, like we were able to move forward, but then we get lost in those again. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It so, was rough. I feel like there are so many situations that if, if instead of looking at your partner and being like, you caused me pain, like God does want us to be renewed, our minds to be renewed and yeah. made like Christ. And when Jesus came, and people accused him of things he wasn't triggered <laughs> or offended you know he just yeah. loved them and that's what ideally we want to model in yeah. our marriage is that we are so fully renewed in christ that kyle can do anything even if it is from a past trigger that god would first you know i would count on god to heal all those pains from my past so i wouldn't be triggered anymore yeah um, so yeah, that is the yeah. goal of the goal of marriage. I feel like to be so renewed because I do believe that you know God wants to to give us freedom from all the pain caused by mankind. Yeah, absolutely. And this conversation we had, uh, you know, really helped us a lot because it was the first time we like pinpointed why are we feeling this way why are we acting so this way long. for so long our whole marriage i mean it's a year and a half right and finally we just clicked. i don't even know how it happened it was god it was the holy spirit for sure he just like because i know i remember i did not want to have that conversation we were in the car i wanted to get out of that car i was mm, and yeah the podcast did help a lot and that led us into it, but it was God just leading us and like pouring out his love and his peace in a very strong way and helping us to see with wisdom and discernment what was really going on. Why are you feeling this way? Why am I feeling this way? Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. And us discussing it together in the most open, honest, and transparent way helped us to see each other's past hurts and pains understand where it comes from and really help us to love each other in that place because now we understand mm -hmm. you know yeah and that from there and we, we were just accepted it too. and that was it too you know, yeah we, we accepted to accept, it accept it and not hold it against one another right and like really truly forgive yeah. the past and move forward yeah and actually be on the same team yeah you know? and on top of accepting it like from like me accepting her past and her mind, but also me accepting mine mm -hmm. and hers, hers, you know, and being able to forgive ourselves too, because we've done a lot of things in our marriage. We, I know I would love to take a lot back. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you would too. Definitely. So, you know, it's, it's hard when you go through it, but reflecting back in hindsight after having these breakthroughs and revelations, it's so powerful and I'm so grateful for it because mm -hmm. I don't think us going through it, without us going through it, we would have came to this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and ever since that conversation, I feel like we have like a whole new relationship. Like I, yeah. we barely argued. I feel like we have a lot more grace. Yeah. And then we also have like, we don't get frustrated as quickly. Right. And if something is if we're starting to talk about something it's getting frustrating we kind of like I feel like we're good now about like taking breaks yes. or just like saving it for the next day if it's late or yeah whatever it is because we really do see each other now as teammates and it's like okay i don't need to like take this issue or this feeling out on you you're here to like help me work through it yeah and if right now both of us are not an emotional place to actually help one come another back to it later. then we can come back yeah. to it later but and that was so cool because this happened and then three days later we had the christian or the uh the couple's commitment marriage retreat um mm -hmm. with scott and orlena and um man it was just amazing it was amazing because we got to like take this like new relationship that we had 
and go to this marriage commitment retreat and like sit down with a bunch of other couples and um, you know these amazing leaders and basically like communicate more and ask each other questions and go deeper into certain areas of our relationship certain areas um, that we struggle with and help each other to understand more it's like we just were like in this place of like learning more and understanding more yeah. um, and in that we were receiving more from God of like what to do and how to go about this and so on and so forth and it was mm -hmm. just so powerful and we had you know like two days straight doing that right afterwards yeah and that was such a blessing yeah and like i shared earlier it wasn't something where we were taking a bunch of notes or like yeah, there was all right. these like mic drops and like right. things like, like preaching that. or yeah, yeah it was like not preaching it was no. a pam like they gave us a pamphlet every day full of questions for us to answer and then like share with our spouse yeah so it was really almost like a communication workshop of like right uh, a time where you got to sit down and really communicate about every aspect of your life yeah. and relationship. And that's what I love about them because it's not about like, let me, like they said it right off the bat, we're not gonna tell you what you need or what you need to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you questions, we're going to talk, we're going to invite God, invite in. God in to speak to you and he's gonna tell you what you need to do and how you need to go about it we're just going to facilitate and kind of push you in that direction mm -hmm. and it was so good yeah it was, it was so really good. good one thing that really st stood out for me from the things that they did share was the story about um his dad mm. um dying and his yeah. dad had i think had suddenly gotten like a heart attack or something tragic happened and he was in the hospital his mom was visiting or he you know they're all visiting him and then his dad um his or maybe it was that day i feel like it was like it might have been that day yeah it was like very sudden he went to the hospital i don't think the husband got to see his wife and he told scott that um please tell your mom that i'm sorry for the argument we had last week and i was wrong <laughs> Like that's what he wanted to say on his death like what? his deathbed was sorry for a small argument that him and his wife had like after I don't know like 40 50 years of marriage and so from that he just saw like wow marriage is something you are working on for the rest of your for life the rest of your life yeah. and so I think that was something we really needed to realize cuz I think I I think more maybe for you it was a struggle if you don't mind me saying this yeah, was that um like you didn't want to have a struggle yeah you didn't want to like it to be work you right. thought it was kind of going to be vacation baby yeah no, like, i'm what just did kidding think, not vacation you know? no 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 like, I, I just feel like it triggered you that we had arguments either. yes like I... it was a marker of a bad relationship 100 percent i've been through relationships that just keep going in terms of like fighting, 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 fighting. And this had got in the center and in my head that meant it wasn't going to be that way. Like, yeah, we'll have our trials and our tribulations, but we'll overcome them and we'll always be on the same page and we'll always be united and we'll always be together, you know, and just like that was like the deception kind of that I had in my head and my heart. So when it didn't meet that expectation, expectations, ooh, don't get me started on expectations right now. <laughs> but when it didn't meet that expectation, it kind of crippled me. Yeah. You know? Which is so cool for me to even hear like, oh, that's not because like we argued. Or, no. Like, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with that's us. That's nothing that's to do with us humans and you. humans being humans and right. like trying to be sanctified in Christ. Yeah. But now I know it's like, oh, actually for him, it's triggering to have back-to-back -back fights um because to him it means like this relationship is doomed <laughs> yeah yeah and that it, it's like it's so crazy because we don't even understand these things for ourselves most of the time you know we don't grasp why we do these things or you know i i really think self-reflection is so undervalued it's like it's kind of ignored and it's so important and mm -hmm. something i feel like god's speaking to me now is like get back in the secret place let's talk you and i just you and i and let's really dive deep and let's like look internally like at your own self and why is this happening why do you act that way why do you think this way what are you chasing after what yeah. are you seeking what where's your heart at why are you thinking this way why fill in the blank right but like having that time with god intimately and intentionally 
um, to just really be there and see the ugly parts of ourselves yeah. for what they are and be okay with it and accept it and be like, okay, now let's change. Let's move forward, God. Like, let's now when this comes up, I know, oh, it's because of this mm -hmm. instead of this comes up and it's like, you. <laughs> <laughs> right it's crazy yeah. but anyway uh that's a whole yep whole other thing i whole think if thing. i could yeah. leave you guys with one thing it would be um anytime in relationships even if it's just with friends or someone on social media um if you start feeling like um just like sinful feelings towards somebody or anger or jealousy or bitterness or judgment um instead of focusing like keeping your eyes on them and justifying it instead ask god oh you're bringing something up in me that's not like you so god will you come in and show me why like why is this happening and the reason is never going to be the other person yeah and so god will show you actually this is from like this you know your dad uh, right. how he treated you and like how he didn't meet a need or th actually the way this is from like that friend that betrayed you in middle school like right um and you're projecting it on this person online yeah. or on your spouse or like that's why you're really hurting so if yeah. you can just ask that question and obviously it won't be perfect but right. you could try yeah. yeah and and just on top of that like and i agree 100 percent. i'm not gonna really dive too much deeper or like throw something else out there because I think that's so important. But um, I will add that in that moment, if you're feeling, well, I'm pissed because she did this, don't stop there. Like she's saying, there's something deeper. So if you get there, well, no, she did this or he did this, it's time to look internally. Mm -hmm. Our dog's freaking out. <laughs> Yeah, we got it. So go we should probably in. go let him yeah, back in. We'll finish but the video here. Yeah, real quick. If you have not yet, like this video, subscribe, follow along. And I'm also wearing the Made in Christ sweatshirt yes. um, on Hallelujah Sunday. There's only yeah. like 36 left, and we might not be doing another order for some time. So if you have not gotten yours, get yours today. Definitely. And um, yeah. with that, we love you guys. And Jesus loves you more. Yeah. God bless.